You don't need boundaries. You need the skills that are required to set boundaries. Once you understand boundaries, you start thinking about situations differently, and then you don't have to think about setting boundaries anymore. I'm Heather, and I help mothers worry less and create more connection with their child who's struggling with addiction. You do not have to wait for recovery. Healing can start today. When I first start working with clients, they're all about the boundaries. But after we've worked together for a couple of weeks, they don't even mention boundaries anymore because they're clear about what they want to protect as far as their environment and emotions goes. And their focus has shifted from trying to control their child to controlling what is within their control and they are self-aware and know how to do the thought work that it takes to manage their discomfort about setting boundaries. So here are three questions to think about if you're considering setting boundaries and it's important to take the time to write down your answers and really think through these questions. Number one is, are you setting this boundary because you think you should or because you want to? And number two is, are you ready to follow through on the consequence if the boundary isn't followed? And number three is, if you aren't ready to follow through on the consequence, then can you think of an easier boundary that you can set so that you can practice building your boundary muscle?